All right, now we're going to do cause some conversions on the metric system with scientific notation this time. So uh, let me show you a problem that's just about as tricky as it gets. Uh, something like 125, um, and let's say nanometers. And let's say I want to convert that into how many, uh, let's get silly and say kilometers like that all right here's how you would do something like that first of all and this is just my method of doing it and i think it works fine for people so i'm going to stick with it 125 and i'm going to replace nano with its metric prefix which is going to be 10 to the negative 9 so this is going to be times 10 to the negative 9 meters so i have basically converted it into the base meter but now I have to do this decimal jumping deal that we talked about yesterday. In scientific notation, it needs to be, you need to have a number point something else. So it, you need to have one number here between 1 and 9 and then, and then the decimal point. So we need to adjust this decimal point. One, 125, the decimal is right here. We need to move this back two places to the left. So this is going to become 1.25 times 10 to some power and we saw that yesterday if you don't remember this go back and one, watch the one from yesterday uh, it moves back two places so we increase this by two so this becomes negative seven meters um, what's going to separate people who get this wrong and right is labeling this stuff so don't try to skip steps it is uh, the worst thing you can do now we're going to convert this to kilometers so we put this over one put a time sign and a line, and we match units diagonally. So if meters here, meters has to go here, and kilometers has to go here. Good deal. And we know that from our flashcards and conversion papers that one kilometer equals 10 to the third meters, 10 to the third meters. So we could say one kilometer is 10 to the positive three meters. And then the meters would cancel. And this is just a single step conversion and all you have to do remember this will stay the same 1.25 and the only thing that changes is this exponent here we have to just fill in this little mystery exponent and the way that you do it is you subtract exponents so it's negative 7 from left to right minus 3 which is which would be negative 10 so this would be um, negative 10 right there well, let's do one more Let's do one more. We'll just stick it on here. We'll, we're fine. Uh, do this in green this time. Let's say we had 0 0.08 centimeters, and I wanted to convert this to micrometers, blank micrometers. All right, so this time different because the decimal's on this side, and we're going to have to move it back. So we go 0 0.08. 8 times 10 centi is of course negative 2 meters that would be step 1 right there now check this out we have to move this back two places to make this 8.0 this needs to become 8.0 times 10 to some power if we're moving it to the right we saw yesterday that you decrease the exponent by the number of jumps you do so we're going to decrease this by 2 so this is going to become negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4 meters. Now, we have that all done. We're cleared for takeoff. So we put this over 1, time sign, line. What unit would go down here? Anybody? Meters. Micrometers on top. And we know that 1 um, micrometer equals 10 to the negative 6 meters. So 1 micrometer is 10 to the negative 6. And a lot of people, let's just time out right here. A lot of people say, well, do you always put this on the bottom when you're doing that? Yes. Yes is the answer to that. You will all, It will always be on the bottom like that. So that's because we're starting with the base unit. You convert it to the base unit first, and then this becomes infinitely easier. That cancels. So this is going to become 8.0 times 10 to the negative 4 minus negative 6 power, which would be 2, positive 2. 
So it's 8.0 times 10 to the second, or we know this is 800 uh, micrometers. All right, that's it. Have a good one. That is basically how you convert with, sci with scientific notation. Have a good one.